in this lesson, we will learn how to create an action query in Access. In this presentation slide, I have outlined some of the different types of action queries that you can use within your database. For example, an append query is going to allow you to add criteria to what you're looking for. And based on your criteria, it's going to add records to a table. We have an update query, which is the one I will demonstrate, that's going to allow you to change values in a table based on your criteria. You can also delete records, make another table based on a query, and you can look for data that is no longer needed within your database and also duplicate records. Running a query to accomplish these tasks are going to allow you to get a lot more done in a shorter amount of time. A person can go through each table, filter, delete records, or add them. But if you create an action query, you can run them at any time, and you can run them frequently. For example, if you have regular updates that you perform within your database for pay increases or pricing, you may want to create an action query and run them as needed versus creating the query over and over again or manually performing them within your table. In our database here, I want to show you what we're going to do with table pay and benefits. When I open this table up, you can see that I have seven employees in this table. Each employee has a pay rate that's established, and each employee is also tied to their employee table. And in the employee table, they have a job title. What I would like to do is take a job title and give them a specific pay increase. For example, if you are in sales or if you're in IT, you will get a specific increase in your pay. We can accomplish this through an action query. An action query cannot be undone. For example, if I provide a 10% increase on certain job titles, I cannot undo that. So before you perform an action query, the proper step is to copy your table so you have a backup of what your figures were before you actually perform the query. To get started with that first step, I'm going to close this table. And I'm going to right click this table and make a copy. And then I'm just going to right click and choose Paste. You can name the table however way you wish. For my example, I'm just going to leave the default name. And then I am going to keep the structure and the data within the table. So the structure is the design of the table along with what you have entered within that table. When I click OK, you're going to have a separate table within your navigation pane. And you can always refer to this table to see if the updates were correct. You can also restructure the design of your database, replace the wrong table if the updates were incorrect with the one that you backed up. To get started with the action query, we're going to go to the Create tab. And from the Queries group, click on the Query Design. And it's going to ask you to add the table. We are going to work with two tables at one point, but I do want to show you how to bring that second table in in case you forgot how to add an additional table. I'm going to go ahead and open up Table, Pay, and Benefits. And I'll go ahead and close the Show Table window. And this is a standard select query. In the Design ribbon, underneath Query Type, you'll see that is selected. What I want to do is change it to an update query. And as soon as you change the query type, you will see that the available rows for your query have changed. When I'm at select, you have a certain type of criteria that you can add. When you go to update, you have a new row called update2. What I would like to do is double click on the pay rate within the table pay and benefits because that is the field that I'm going to perform an update to. Then I'm going to click inside the update to row and then I'll choose right click to build. And then from the expression builder, I can start building the formula. I'm going to create a 10% increase as my first example, but I'm not going to actually run the query. I want to just show you how to write the formula. And then I want to show you the windows that appear. So when I open up the database tables, I am working with 
Cable Pay and Benefits. I will double click on Pay Rate and I would times it by 1.1 to add 10% to the existing rate. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So if I choose Run on the ribbon here, it's gonna tell me I have seven employees. I'm about to update seven rows. Once I click Yes, I cannot undo the command or reverse the changes. So you wanna make sure you have this backup for that reason. I'm gonna choose no at this time because I wanna add a little bit more flexibility to our query. First of all, I'm gonna expand this column here so you can see what we've done. And then I'm gonna add that additional table. I'm gonna right click and choose the show table command. And I would like to bring in the table employees. Table employees has my job titles. I'm gonna close the show table window and from the employee tables, I'll go ahead and add job title. If you remember from our previous course, we have an entire chapter on working with parameter queries. We're going to add that element to this update query. Whenever someone runs this query, I want them to enter the job title that is going to get this 10% pay increase. In the criteria, I will place in the square brackets what I want in the parameter window. I'm gonna say enter job title. Now let's take a quick preview on what the action query will do. When I open up the copy of table pay and benefits, I am going to specify certain fields to be updated. I'm gonna open up table employees and then I see that I have two IT specialists. They're gonna get the 10% increase. Those IT specialists are employees six and seven, so I'm expecting two employees to be updated. I'm gonna close table employees. I'm gonna close the copy. I'm gonna go to my design ribbon and then run this query. And now it's asking me, enter the job title. So I'm gonna type in IT specialist. And when I choose OK, it's telling me it's about to update two rows. When I click Yes, the update has already been performed. You will be able to go to Table Pay and Benefits. Look at the different pay rates. Right here is where the change happened. If you expand the details and scroll over a little bit in my case, you'll see these are your IT specialists. If you go to the Copy of the table and benefits that we made, you'll see that the original amount was here and we've added that 10% increase over here. We will continue this topic in our next lesson.